Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about um, the related steps pattern, basically, um, or m better, I'm going to make an example of the related steps pattern, okay? Uh, this is my next blog post uh, that should be appearing soon, and uh, it explains a uh, very uh, typical use case in Corbos where we have um, a main module that has a, few, a series of steps that must be taken to accomplish or to fulfill the, the purpose of the main module. Uh, some examples would be like a support ticket where you have a series of steps uh, that must be taken to resolve the ticket, uh, claims, resolutions, projects. And the most typical case is the partial payments on invoices. Okay, we have an invoice and we have a series of partial payments that we need to follow through and get paid to uh, actually uh, fulfill the payment on the invoice. Um, this is asked a lot, and it's uh, and basically this pattern, uh, this related steps pattern, which I explain here in the in the blog post a little bit, uh, full, uh, does that does does this control? Okay, so uh, this um, this video is kind of just gonna fulfill, uh, just uh, fill in the the gaps in the in the blog post. Okay, uh, here I created. Um, uh, a pick list on my invoice uh, with three options. Let's zoom in on that. There we go. Okay, I have a pick list here, and I added uh, three values: a uh, full payment, which would be um, I create the invoice and I get and it gets paid. So I just create one payment record. Uh, 50 50 uh, get uh, two payment records and they get paid different dates and 30 30 40 I get three payment records and uh, at different dates okay uh, the logic that I just decided that in my fictional fictional company would be that uh, the full payment would be one record that I will get paid on the due date of the invoice uh, 50 50 is I get paid 50 percent at the creation of the invoice and the other 50 at the due date and uh, 30, 30, 40 would be uh, 30 now when I create the invoice, 30 in 30 days, and the rest uh, on the due date, okay? So I'm going to show how we would create this logic in, um, in Corbos, how we would make saving an invoice, which is the main record in the uh, related steps pattern, uh, when I pick one of these values, actually create those uh, payments so that they can get followed up and they can get uh, marked as paid and, and, and do everything that you need, you know, get warnings a uh, few days before the payment, or you could even do reports on when you're going to get the money, etc. Uh, who's owing you money, who was supposed to get paid and they didn't pay you, all that. Once you have the payment records themselves, it's, it's all just uh, trivial work, okay? So uh, let's jump over to the workflows. I'm going to, this is all done with two workflows, the created entity workflows, basically, and uh, and the delay. We'll see that. I'm going to create a new workflow for the invoice module. We're going to put this, uh, we're going to say that this is um, partial payments, partial payments, uh, full payment, full payment. So we'll get an idea of how that works every time the record is full. Uh, is saved and uh, then we'll, we'll talk about that a little later and I jump over here get the partial payment pick list and I say that it's full payment okay save that and save this okay so now every time I save an invoice and the partial payment pick list has the value of full payment I will launch the tasks below so let's add a new task which is a create entity task in this case, I'm just going to do one record, uh, full payment record. And uh, we don't need to evaluate this payment records. And now I have the fields on the payment record. Okay, let's, I just added uh, a few fields and let's fill them in. Okay, assigned to is mandatory, so we have to get an assigned to. I'm going to assign it to the same user that the invoice is assigned to uh, payment ref that'll be a raw text then we'll put full payment of invoice okay uh, the next would 
B, register date. I'm going to leave that empty as it'll fill in all by itself. If it's not given, it's today, which is exactly what I'm looking for anyway. Uh, the due date. When is this supposed to be paid? On the due date of the invoice. So we go over to the fields. We look for the due date on the invoice. And there it goes. Uh, what else? Payment date. When is it paid? Well, we're going to leave this one empty. Uh, whenever it gets paid, it will be marked as paid. Uh, is it paid? Uh, no, it is not paid. Uh, credit. Is it? In, uh, are we getting money or are we giving money? Well, we're giving. We're getting money, so it's uh, it's yes, it's a credit. Yeah, correct. Uh, one, two, three. It's at a few more fields, and let's keep on going. Payment mode. Uh, oh, I have no idea. Uh, this would be on the payment module effective transfer check whatever you want i'm going to leave this one empty i'm going to just just ignore it payment category you could do the same thing infrastructure taxes travel whatever uh you can fill those in depending on your logic of, of the, the amount this is the one we're looking for now amount uh okay amount how much it's going to be one payment for the full amount of the invoice so we get the total of the invoice and we fill that in okay get rid of that one and get rid of that one these three and three these six fields should be enough to create that payment record when i save okay so let's save this that brings us back to our workflow payment and here we have one more okay so if i jump back over to the invoice and i actually pick the full payment and well let's wait let's cancel this and let's jump over here to the payments and make sure we don't have any. Okay, we do. Uh, it's probably from some test. Okay, so I'm going to delete this payment so we don't get mixed up with, with test data that we have in there. Okay. So now if I refresh my invoice related list, I have no payment records in there. Okay, uh, let's jump back over to the edit screen. And we save with full payment. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's saved correctly. We jump over to the payments. And there we have it. We have. I'm going to open this in another tab. See what's in there. And we have a record for the full payment of the invoice related to the account uh, and the invoice on the due date. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The due date of the invoice is actually... Yeah, that's the good date. Okay, the, that's the 1st of August of 2016. Uh, okay, so copy it over. Payment date, paid, no, credit, yes, everything. Yeah, just as we defined, the amount, 1,890. Yeah, this looks perfect. Let's see if the, the amount is correct, 1,890. Okay, uh, so really it's that easy to create payments uh, that will be uh, – uh, then you can now follow up. You could create a workflow, a scheduled workflow that uh, sends out emails a few days before each payment is due. So you could send a reminder. You could automatically send a reminder email, uh, you know, for each upcoming payment. You, now you now it's just since you have the payment records, it's just uh, controlling them and following them up as as best you can in, in, with all the tools and the power that the system gives you. Okay. Uh, now uh, next thing. Okay, suppose that um, that uh, we made a mistake and we didn't want full payment. Actually, we wanted 50-50. Uh, uh, so what we have to do now uh, is first uh, create another workflow for the 50-50 case so that uh, if 50-50 is selected, we also we get the two payments, okay? So let's come back over to the workflow system over here and uh, let's create a new workflow for the 50 50 no workflows invoice and we put here partial where are you partial no fill in partial payment 
50-50. Okay, every time it's saved, partial payment pick list is 50-50. Perfect, just like, just like before, but with different conditions. Okay, now we create a task. We create a new task, create entity, and this will be exactly the same as before okay this is first 50 percent don't need that there's no conditions here we had six fields before so three and three six okay we'll do the same the assigned to here is the assigned to here okay from the invoice uh payment ref put first first 50 percent and register date uh today okay uh this is 50 percent on the create on the moment okay on the creation okay so i need to get the expression of today okay uh 50 percent today when i create the invoice oh, which is which is when i'll create the record okay uh oh today well it could be the, the modified time because if it if we're modifying the invoice it wouldn't be today well okay that depends on how you want to do it instead of getting the today i'm going to use you leave the today but you could also get the uh the field of the modified time uh if you if you if that's how your business logic would would flow okay i'm going to leave today just just uh for uh payment date uh paid no credit yes credit yes okay and the last one we had was the amount and this is 50 percent of the invoice total so we get the invoice total and we divide that by 50. okay that's our first record and now the second okay the second payment let's create uh, the second payment again create entity and basically it's all very very similar all the same uh this is would be the second uh 50 percent you could put better uh um, um, names around here if uh, if that makes it easier for you uh one two three four five six okay uh, sign two is the sign two okay the payment ref this would be here I'm going to put here second 50% here. You could probably mix in the invoice number or something. So it would be even more significant on the reports and, and emails you send out. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's, this is just an example anyway. Uh, register date, due date. Okay, and this is the due date of the invoice here. We, we said that we get 50% when the invoice is created and 50% on the due date. Okay, that was the business required. Payment date, payment yes, no, paid, paid no, credit yes, credit yes, and our last amount would be the total amount divided by 50, which is the rest of the invoice. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now, if I jump back over to the invoice, we edit this one. And we change the partial payment over to 50, 50, 50, 50, and we save. And now let's see what happens. Okay, jump over to the payments. And we have three. Perfect. We have the payment record we have from the first test. And the first and fifty cent, uh, percent here. Oh, and the ex the amounts are wrong. Okay, I did something wrong with the amounts. Uh, anyway, okay, I'll, I'll I'll check that out. Maybe it's because I did divide that. Oh, it's an expression divided. Oh, okay, I'll I'll check that out. Maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. Divided by 50. No, that's wrong. That's totally by. It's multiplied by 0, 050. 
Uh, okay, uh, I did that wrong. Okay, anyway, uh, anyway, the operation is this. Yeah, that's that looks better. Save that one. Anyway, this this also brings up uh, an, uh, the, the 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 same the same answer this the same question that I'm gonna I'm gonna get to right now. Uh, let me modify the other one so we can test it anyway. And and if not, that's it, it's okay. I'll fix that. Uh, okay, so I want to multiply this by zero fifty and save. Uh, okay, the thing is that independently of the amount, if it's right or wrong, the thing is that I have now three payments when I should only have two. Uh, if I changed from the full payment to the 50-50, I should eliminate the full payment of the invoice, okay, the, the, the previous record, because that one doesn't make any sense anymore, okay? So now, uh, to, to accomplish that, we need to add another, uh, another, another step. And that's another task which we add to our workflow, which is the delayed related records. Okay, let's zoom that in. I think I can't. Okay, the delayed related records. The late related the delayed related records task will uh, ask us for a, um, a related module, and it will delete all the all the records that are related to the um, to the record being saved. In this case, uh, if I select this and select the payments, when I save, uh, all the payment records related to the invoice I'm saving will be deleted for me, which is exactly what I need. I need to delete them and then create, add the new ones. Okay, so we delete related records and I'm going to put here delete uh, payments. We don't need any conditions. And here we have a list of all the related modules among which is the payment, which is the one I'm looking for. So I, I save this. And now if we look here, what, uh, what's, what it says is that it's going to create a 50% record payment another 50% for the second, and then it's going to delay all the payments. So if I do it this way, I will not only delay the three that I already have, but it will also delay the two that I just created, and I'll end up with no records at all. So it is very important that we bring this up and we execute this in the correct order. Okay, first we delay any payments that are there. Okay, and then we add the new ones. Okay, this is important for, for this to work. Okay. Uh, okay, so now um, I have to do the same thing for the for the full payment uh, workflow. Okay, so that uh, now we can just jump back and forth from one to the other, and it should uh, do what it needs to do. Okay, so let's come back over here, and uh, we'll add. Okay, I'm on the on the full payment now record now, and here we have to do the same. Okay, we delete the related records. delete payments and we delete select the payment record and we save and again i have to bring this up and do this first before creating any records okay so let's bring that up there we go and now i should be able i'm going to save this just in case everything's done already but just in case uh, now i should be able to come over here to my invoice edit this one and we'll go back to the full payments and let's see what happens okay there we go perfect and if I go back to the 50 50 I would have only one record okay um, that's about it that I mean this is uh, all that really is needed to get the related steps pattern working in core boss I mean it's just a create entity workflow task where you create all the steps of the related records and you have to have them deleted first um, and there's not much more to it uh, the conditions the, uh, that you need and uh, all, uh, all the complexity of the calculations perfect uh, are really done inside the, the the create entity workflow here, where you define all the conditions, and you you know you can define 
what dates and how many amount and every all the stuff even on the conditions here also you could uh you could add conditions uh to do only the calculations when the when the a pick list changed or, or or any other conditions uh you i mean if you want there's some invoices that uh don't you don't want this to this logic to happen you, you just kind of define your conditions up here uh, uh, with the rest of the conditions okay there's just uh one last thing that i have to comment it's also explained on the blog and is um and the issue is that okay um i'm deleting payment records here okay so uh if any of these records has already been marked as paid we have the money uh we should not delete them they should not we should not be a permit any deletion okay that's not uh, really a uh, part of the part of the related steps pattern it's uh it's just a, a use case that can happen i mean somebody can go in and delay a payment or somebody could come over here and change the payment method when some records already have been paid um, what you would do in that case is add validations to the system okay that, that's not the related that's not a workflow it's not it's simply you have to validate you have to add validations into the corbus corbus has a, a complete validation system where you can define all sorts of things that you want to control and in this case you would control that this pick list could not be changed if there's already a, a paid record okay or or vice versa or whatever conditions uh, you need to implement in your business logic well, uh, I hope that uh, that helps you use this pattern more efficiently, uh, especially on the control on the payment control record uh, part, uh, partial payment control, which is a very very useful uh, part of uh, of Corbos and very common. Thanks for listening.